Okay, folks, so we've made it to proposition 5.3.2, which says for every integer n greater than or equal to 3, we must prove that 2n plus 1 is smaller than 2 to the power of n. So the proof is going to be, again, a proof that relies on induction, so proof by induction. And we're going to start by saying let n be an integer where n is greater than or equal to 3. So the base case is pretty straightforward. At this point, it should be straightforward to 2. n is equal to 3. That's the first element in the domain that we're working with. And we would like to show that the statement holds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the left-hand side of my statement, which in this problem is 2n plus 1. But of course, I'm replacing n with 3 because that's what n starts with. And so 6 plus 1 is going to be 7. So, so far, everything is fine, whatever, no big deal. So what about the right-hand side? The right-hand side is going to be 2 to the power of n, but keep in mind again, n is actually 3, and 2 cubed is in reality equal to 8. And is it true that 7 is equal to 8? Because we need the left-hand side to be smaller than the right-hand side. And this is in fact true. So it seems like so far the theorem is actually true. So pause the video for a minute and see if you can come up with the inductive hypothesis and what you want to show. So there we have it. I have the inductive hypothesis written down and my want to show statement. So my want to show statement is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to try to break it down so I know what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to FOIL the two or distribute rather two and uh, there's the 2k basically plus 3. So this is what I'm shooting for. And on the other hand, there's a 2k plus 1. Just keep in mind that 2k plus 1, that's kind of like 2k times 2 to 1. Um, so, you know, these are things to just keep in mind as we go through the next few parts of the proof. So, <clears throat> starting with what I know. So I know that, so we know that we assume that 2 to, the power, 2 to k plus 1 is less than 2 to the power of k. So we assume that 2 to the power of k is greater than that quantity. And remember, I saw 2k plus 3 here. So how can I get 2k plus 3? Well, I can get 2k plus 3 by adding to this side of the equation a 2. But, sorry, the, to this side of the inequality a 2. So let me go ahead and do that. If I did that, I'm going to end up with the extra 2 that I'm adding. But if I add 2 to one side of the inequality, to keep everything balanced, I'm technically required to add 2 on the other side. So this way I don't lose the balance. Well, at this point, the left-hand side is pretty much finished because it looks like 2 with the k from here and the 1 from here. And there's the extra 1 on the outside, which is kind of what we wanted in our want-to-show statement. Now, the second side, though, is a little bit off. We need it to have 2 to the power of k plus 1, but instead we have 2 to the power of k plus 2. Now, to make some modifications, I'm going to kind of go off on a tangent for a second here. <clears throat> well, first, do you agree that 2 is smaller than 2 to the power of k for k greater than or equal to, in this case, let's say 3. Okay, so stop the video and just think about it for a second. Do you believe that 2 to the power of 1 is smaller than 2 to the power of 3 or 2 to the power of 4 or 2 to the power of whatever? If you believe that, then we can proceed forward with the next step of the proof, which relies on grabbing this thing right here and kind of just saying something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste it and I'm going to say, well, if you believe that, then I can add a third side over here and say that 2 to the power of k plus 2 is now smaller than 2 to the power of k plus 2 to the power of k. So what did I really do? I kind of just like erased this 2 and I replaced it with a bigger quantity, right? So I'm allowed to do that because I'm replacing a small number with a big number. The inequality is still going to be true, right? So like think of it like this. If I had 1 plus 3 less than let's say 7, I can go ahead and write down 1 plus 3 less than 7 plus 5, or 7 plus 9, or whatever. Whatever other number I want, as long as that number is bigger than 3, that would work. So like 4 would work, 
um, I don't know, seven, 10, whatever. So that's kind of the idea of what I'm doing right now. I'm replacing the two with a larger quantity. And so this is perfectly legit, okay? So remove the two, replace it with 2K. So replace. And at this point, I'm just gonna cut off the middle guy and just kind of look at the first piece and look at the last piece, which is two to the power of K plus two to the power of K. If I think of this as one coin and this is another coin, then that's two coins of the same thing. So that means that two K plus one plus one is now two of the same coin, which is two K. But using exponent rules, I can now put it back together and write the following. So 2k plus 1 plus 1 is less than 2 to the power of k plus 1. Okay, Because I have base 2 and I have base 2 again, the powers must add up, which is what we wanted. This is exactly our statement in the want to show comment. Okay, So at this point, we are finished. So we're going to write down QED.